Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the how to formulate the LP model with an example problem. Let's see the problem. An oil refiner has to decide on the optimum mix of two possible blending processes. The input and output for production run are as follows. Here it is given that one the for the process 1 and 2 and the input is based on the grade A and grade B given in the terms of the unit. Similarly, output is given for the gasoline X and the gasoline Y in the terms of the unit. So, for the process 1, so input point of view, grade A having the 5 units, grade B having the 3 units. Similarly, output point of view for the process 1, so gasoline X 5 units, gasoline Y is having the 8 units. And the process 2, in the input point of view, grade A having the 4 units and grade B having the 5 units. Similarly, output point of view for the process 2, it is given the gasoline X is 4 units and the gasoline Y having the 4 units. The maximum amount of available of grade A and grade B is 200 units and 150 units respectively. Market requirements show that at least 100 units of gasoline X and the 80 units of gasoline Y must be produced. The profits for production run from the process 1 and process 2 are rupees 300 and rupees 400 respectively. Then formulate the LP model. Let's see the solution. First step is identify the decision variables. For this, look for the what are the products are companies producing. See, sometimes it is very difficult to identify the decision variables. In this condition, look for the second step that is the identify the objective function. For this, look for the words profit, cost and the least to number of product. So, in the data it is mentioned that when the profits for production run from process 1 and to process 2 are 300 and 400 and we know that when the profits always should be maximized. So, maximize the profit. So, let us consider profit is the Z then the maximize Z equal to the 300 into the process 1 plus 400 into process 2. So, Z equal to the so, maximize z equal to 300 into x1 plus 400 into x2. We know that when the objective function always expressing in the terms of the decision variables. So, here x1 equal to the number of production run by process 1. x2 is the number of production run by the process 2. Here x1 and x2 are the decision variables. So, next look for the constraints. For this one, observe the data. Here, it is given that when the constraints in the terms of the grade is given that grade A having the maximum 200 units. So, here it is the x1, process 1 is the x1 and process 2 is the x2. And it is mentioned that when the maximum amount of grade variable for the grade A. So, grade A point of view it is the maximum 200 units. So, it should be the 5 into x1 plus grade A point of view only, 4 into x2. So, maximum amount of the grade is, grade A is the 200. So, 5x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to the 200. Similarly, maximum amount of grade B point of view, that is the grade B having the maximum 150 units. Maximum 150 means it should be maybe below the 150 also it is possible. So, similarly, you have to observe, have to write down the constraints for the grade B point of view. Maximum is 150. So, process 1, that is the x1 into the 3 plus x2 into the 5 less than or equal to the 150. So, next we have to look for the another constraints in the terms of the gasoline x and y. So, in the data, it is mentioned that when the market requirement show that when the at least at least mean it should be the minimum 100. So, greater than or equal to the 100. 100 units of the gasoline X and the 80 units of the gasoline Y. So, next one I have to write down the constraints in the terms of the amount of gasoline. So, first we have to see the gasoline of X that is the minimum is 100 units. So, it will become the 
So process one that is the 5x1 plus gasoline x for the process two that is the 4x2. So 5x1 plus 4x2 greater than or equal to the 100. Similarly, gasoline y point of it is a minimum is 80, 80 units. So minimum 80 means it should be the greater than or equal to the 80. So it should be the 8 into process 1, 8x1 plus 4 into the x2, process 2. So it should be greater than or equal to the 80. So and here x1 and x2 should be the non-negative variable and also it should be the greater than or equal to the 0. So this is the solution. Thank you very much.